Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you about Oblong Melanoma Imaging. So Oblong Melanoma is the name to Ovia Melanoma, Choroid Melanoma, Oblong Anexa Melano Melanoma. Malignancy arising from melanocytes, most often in in the imaging, so predominant from it arising from choroid and then ciliary and iris. So the apparent is dome or mushroom shape with broad choroidal base, often with associated retinal touch. Ultrasound is primary imaging methodology for the evaluation of intraocular disease. Enhance them all with class suppression to assess extra ground disease. So you will be shown mildly to strongly T1 hyperintent to righteous. T2 hyperintent, moderate diffuse tumor and cancer. Ocular coronary element. Tomography image imaging as valuable morality for uh, tomologies. So let's see this first case in the accept one and all in a 44 years old woman. So a dome shape T1 pipeline 10 months based along the Posterior lateral aspects of the left uvea, consistent with melanoma. Hyperintent T1 signal type probably increase with increased melanocytic pigmentation. And this is the sagittal optic T1 C plus FS or more in a 56 just. It's an old man presenting with sudden vision loss, demonstrate an enhancing intraocular mass in the posterior globe, consistent with choroidal melanoma. There is an associated non enhancing retinal detachment with sub retinal hemorrhage, accounting for the presenting symptoms. And this is an axial lung enhanced CT in a 26 years old man with progressive vision loss secondary to ocular melanoma. So an intramus, intracular mass in the lateral right lobe, slightly hyperdent to extra muscle. The leg of calcification is stuck. And this is the axial contrast intensity. So, an enhancing melanoma tumor within the positive aspect of the left globe with an unusually large extra ocular component resulting in cortosis. The very large size of this melanoma and the presence of extra ocular extension. Are both for prognostic factors. This is the image corresponding with scan for the sun source, a dull shape mask, posteriorly with focal lobulation where the brush membrane. Is a bridge. A small retinal detachment is present. So, this is the image consistent with melanoma. And this is also the case of over melanoma. Where you can see the shape is the dome. 
with some internal acrogenic flutter in the white dress. Treatment could be under observation. The suitable call in determinate stable small navy, sequential ultrasound to document stability. Transpupillary chemotherapy, option of small tumor, preserve vision, tumor hitting by infraradiation, surgical block excision, scleral or rectomy. Option for small tumor, less than one, less than one set. Our globe circumference preserves some reason. Recurrent in 15 to 20 percent require inoculation. Clark trachea therapy is not with irradiation and surgical inoculation. Thank you.